Martin Odegaard returning to Arsenal. Arsenal's quest for a new attacking midfielder continues into this season. So today we will find out what Fabrizio Romano has said on Martin Odegaard. We will also find out if Lacazette is off to Roma and is captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang up for sale. Let's discuss in today's episode of The Transfers FC. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Babs14 and welcome back to your boys channel. I understand that all Arsenal fans are still in recovery mode after last night's horror show. But as per, if you do enjoy the content, make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing to your boys channel because we are on the road to the big old 60k and then you guys can make it happen. But let's start off with the transfer news and starting off with Martin Odegaard. The Norwegian central attacking midfielder was on loan at Arsenal last season. But in terms of Mikel Arteta and Arsenal, they have always made it clear they love Odegaard and they would love him to return to Arsenal Football Club. So today, Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Martin Odegaard would love to rejoin Arsenal. He was really happy during his loan spell last season and he's waiting for Arsenal's bid to be accepted by Real Madrid once the green light arrives. Odegaard has a great relationship with Arteta and the board members too. So Mr. Here We Go has confirmed that Odegaard now wants to come back to Arsenal, return to the Emirates Stadium and he wants to leave Real Madrid. And there is a clear reason why. As Carlo Ancelotti confirmed that Martin Odegaard is not registered for Real Madrid's first La Liga game tomorrow. So Carlo Ancelotti has left out Martin Odegaard. Now of course the reason why Odegaard was at Arsenal in the first place was because he was not playing regularly enough under the old manager Zidane. And now it seems to be the same case under Carlo Ancelotti who prefers Modric and Cruz and the more experienced midfielders. Fabrizio confirms that Arsenal are prepared to make a bid to sign Martin Odegaard on a permanent transfer. He's always been Edu and Arteta's priority as a number 10. Once Real Madrid give the green light, Arsenal will submit the proposal. Awa also on the list. Madison has never been close. So Hussein Awa, James Madison and Martin Odegaard are those three players. According to Mr. Here We Go, it is Martin Odegaard on the top of that list. Essentially what Arsenal are now waiting for is Madrid to kind of say Odegaard is for sale and then they will submit an official proposal and then they'll put forward an official bid, a permanent transfer for the Norwegian international captain. Even the reliable Norwegian journalist Arilas Old Sada says it's on. Arsenal in intense negotiations with Real Madrid for a permanent Martin Odegaard transfer. Arsenal are hoping to finalise the deal in the coming days. The love between the London club and the Norwegian has been very strong since January. Now in terms of my man here, he is a very reliable journalist when it comes to Martin Odegaard and when Arsenal signed the player back on loan in January, this guy was all over the case on top of it and very much bang on. Chris Wheatley says that Arsenal have roughly £40 million to spend on a number 10 before player sales. Odegaard is a more financially viable deal and is around £20 million cheaper than James Madison. He's always been open to returning to Arsenal as Kaya Kayanak reported in May. So Arsenal could save £20 million if they chose to pursue Odegaard and so the fact that they also want a goalkeeper, a centre forward and a right back. I know how my club operates and so I've looked at Madison's price tag and the fact that Odegaard could and should be available. I think Arsenal now turned their attentions to to the Norwegian and Odegaard is Arsenal's priority as the brand new number 10 and the attacking midfielder. Even Dean's Jones Soccer on the football terrace says Arsenal will likely ask for Odegaard on loan first. He is not happy about the situation about Real Madrid. Arsenal are keeping an eye on it. Arteta wants him back. He loves him. Will Arsenal make a loan bid for Martin Odegaard and if so, would it be a loan with the obligation to buy because that could be a perfect scenario because that gets Odegaard signed for next season as well as also freeing up funds to spend on a centre forward, a right back and a goalkeeper. But then saying that according to reliable Spanish journalist Lucas Navarrete, he says that Real Madrid and Arsenal are set to complete a 50 million euro deal for Martin Odegaard. Now 50 million euros converts around 40 to 45 million pounds and if that is the price tag that is very tempting for Arsenal Football Club. The reliable Guardian say all parties would favour a permanent solution with Madrid thought to want around 34 million pounds for the 22 year old Norwegian captain. If it is a price tag of just £34 million, which would be half the price tag of James Madison, I don't see how Arsenal can say no to the quality of the attacking midfielder and the potential of Martin Odegaard. Now don't get it twisted, I would still love to see Arsenal go in for James Madison, but I'm not going to sit here and be a massive hypocrite and say no to a player of the calibre, the quality and the potential of Martin Odegaard, because if Arsenal can't sign James Madison, then Odegaard is a fantastic alternative in your boy's eyes. But on Big Madison, is himself. 
In today's Premier League game, a concern for Leicester City as Madison is limping and holding his hip area again. He isn't moving very well and he has gone down. James Madison went off in a 60 second minute with the same injuries had in the past, that hip injury. And if he was to be injured for a period of time, that could put an end to his Arsenal transfer hopes. But now that we have Odegaard or James Madison, let's compare both ballers. These are the stats from the Premier League last season, where James Madison beats Odegaard in expected assists per 90, key passes per 90, shot creating actions per 90, but loses out in progressive passes per 90 and progressive carries per 90. But altogether, if you look into the stats, they are still so, so close. Now, of course, we cannot forget the goals, and Madison definitely is a far better goal scorer than Martin Odegaard. But in terms of creativity, I could argue that Odegaard is the better creator. And then you also have to factor in the price tag 35 to 40 million pounds for Martin Odegaard, 60 to 70 million pounds for James Madison. This, my friends, I will leave to you guys down below in the comments. Out of both plays for both price tags, who would you prefer to see Arsenal sign? Moving on, let's discuss a certain Sammy Abraham and Alex. Alexandre Lacazette. First things first, we have a report straight out of Italy from Gianluca Di Marcio. It says that Roma's general manager's trip to London served to bring Abraham closer to a definitive choice given that Arsenal's pressure is strong in him. Pinto will also remain in London for a few days with alternatives to remain to be monitored from Lacazette to Cunha. So Roma will make a move for Lacazette if they can't bring Tammy Abraham over and in terms of all, they need to make a decisive decision because if they don't sell Lacazette now, they're going to lose him on a free transfer next season. Di Marcio also say Roma and Tammy Abraham are getting closer and closer and the striker is untying the last knots linked to his future, putting aside the Arsenal hypothesis almost definitely. Roma have already agreed a fee and a deal with Chelsea and then the question really is if Tammy is off the table who do Arsenal then make a move for because as it stands our centre forwards are all over the place because as Chris Wheatley confirms Pierre Mkubamiang and Alexandre Lacazette are both doubtful for Arsenal's game against Chelsea next week. And if that is the case, who is Arsenal's centre forward going to be? Is it once again going to be following Balogun? Is it going to be Gabriel Martinelli playing down the middle? If Laka and Oba are out, who should play as the Arsenal centre forward? According to the Mail, Arsenal are willing to sell Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Will Arsenal really want to sell their club captain in the start of the Premier League season? Personally, I don't think so. But the fact that Arsenal have tried to sign a centre forward so badly in this transfer window says to me they're looking for the long term replacement and the heir to Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. As great Great as Oba has been for Arsenal, make no mistake, he is clearly on the decline. And with two years left on his current Arsenal contract, if he isn't to leave this summer, I think next summer could be the year we let go of Pierre and Merkel Bamiyang. But if it came down to you guys, what would you do in the future of the Arsenal captain? Sell him, keep him, or sell him next summer? And also, who do you see as a long term replacement for the Gabonese international captain? According to Aidan J. Wood, Willian is fully expected to leave Arsenal this summer despite there being no bids for the Brazilian as of yet. Now, William was not involved yesterday in Arsenal's matchday squad, and he was also not involved in Arsenal's squads during pre-season against Chelsea and Tottenham. And so has that essentially confirmed that William is on his way out of Arsenal. With all due respect to the player, I really hope so. What other players do you want to see Arsenal sell and let go of in this transfer window? And moving on to the other Arsenal news today. First things first, we have some confirmed and official news regarding a certain young Joseph Willock. As Arsenal confirmed, Joe Willock's transfer to Newcastle United, saying thank you for everything, Joe. And likewise, young Joseph Willock, best of luck at Newcastle United. And as long as you don't score against Arsenal, I hope you absolutely rip it apart on Newcastle because as they say, once a gooner, always a gooner. And with Willock going to Newcastle, Arsenal will now get 20 to 25 million pounds for the player, which they should use and will use now to sign some brand new players. An attacking midfielder, a goalkeeper, a centre forward, and a right back. Arsenal, you have less than 17 days. Tick tock, the clock is on, the pressure's on. Edu Gaspar, this is what you get paid for. James Ollie says that Arsenal's two new signings, Lokonga and White, are fulfilling post match broadcast media duties. Easy to read too much into this, but it may well say something about the dress room leadership that the new boys are the ones to front up. The real question for me was why was Granit Xhaka the captain for the day? I understand that Aubameyang is out with illness but at the same time this was a player who was set to leave Arsenal only a few weeks ago. He was twerking his ass off for AS Roma and Jose Mourinho and now he is captaining Arsenal Football Club. For me that is a massive massive questionable decision. 
And secondly, in terms of the current Arsenal team, how many years have we said this? Where are the so-called Arsenal leaders? Because I can look left and right and up and down. I don't see anyone whatsoever. Arsenal's next six Premier League fixtures. Chelsea at home, City away, Norwich at home, Burnley away, Tottenham at home and Brighton away. So after losing to Brentford, we now have the European champions and the Premier League champions to contest. It is quite a small Arsenal Mikel Arteta, but let's just say we were to go three games without a win. The pressure would then really be on Mikel Arteta and the Arsenal board. With the fans back in the stadium and the pressure really on, I just don't see how Arsenal don't sack Mikel Arteta. Because for me, we're not just fighting for Arsenal and Premier League points and positions, but Mikel Arteta, for me, you're fighting for your Arsenal future. But what are you guys saying and do you guys think Mikel Arteta that can survive these next six Arsenal games. It really is make or break FC for Mikel Arteta. But that is the latest video of Ever If you have enjoyed, make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing to your boy's channel. If you want to follow your boy on them social medias, then the links will be down below in the description. But that was the latest episode of the Transfers FC. Is it going to be James Madison or Martin Odegaard? We're going to have to wait and see. But until then, I will see you guys soon in a